what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back today we are starting season 9 of the walking dead and as i've told you guys before i'm recording so many episodes in advance to when i return so meanwhile my girl is home um if you guys don't know the situation well all of you guys should know the situation of why i took the break um but just in case you did not know, my girl is home now, so I am recording everything in advance before I come back so that when I come back, I could probably start some new shows or I'll offer you guys something better, some early access and stuff like that. So The Walking Dead Season 9, you guys said this is where the series picks back up because so many of you guys didn't like Season 8, didn't like the results of season eight didn't like the events of season eight <laughs> so many things people didn't like about season eight but you guys said season nine is that nigga <laughs> you know what i'm saying you guys said season nine the series gets back to its roots and it picks back up again get back to the show that you guys know and love um so first of all let me apologize to you guys um for well, not necessarily for taking the break, but more of like, you know, you guys not having any content to watch. I know people are still in quarantine and stuff like that, and we're enjoying my videos. But um, also to thank you guys for all the well wishes and stuff that you sent towards us over here in this household, man. I really do appreciate it. But in any case, man, what I want you guys to do is to make sure you hit that like button, okay? I want this channel to take off. We're on the road. Still, as I'm recording this, we haven't hit, hit 5,000 subscribers yet. Um, so, it is what it is. I'm planning to do another Q&A at 5,000 subscribers. But, in the meantime, let's um, just enjoy The Walking Dead, man. I'm ready to go. Hope you guys are ready too. Don't forget to hit that like button. Um, if you guys um already um we're just gonna jump over and see what's going on with the walking dead see you guys for the review all right so just like what i was just discussing for these two episodes were really good I'm still going to do two more before I end my night of recording, but I'm definitely seeing the difference. As I said there at the end of the episode um, of what I expect, what I expect is greatness from this season nine. It, I don't know if Negan got anything planned. I don't think anybody has visited him, but I do believe that the saviors that are missing are starting a new faction or maybe planning to break Negan out or something like that I don't think something happened to them because it it just doesn't make sense for them to say okay they got wiped out by some walkers it just doesn't make sense I think they left because maybe they just not in agreement plus there was the thing on the wall that they wrote remember we're still Negan and all of this other stuff so it's like um there's inner conflict and that's mainly what I want to talk about. The inner conflict that is going on that could break out into a civil war. You know, not them not being in agreement with everything. You got Maggie, you got Jesus, right? You got the you got the hilltop, right? Of course we know Kingdom is not gonna really do anything because Kingdom is Kingdom. Ezekiel is all about peace, he's all about Carol. Um, I'll talk about the relationships later when it comes on to what's really going on in the series right now. It's more of like, you know, there's going to be a civil war breaking out and the, that's what's going to cause the chaos to maybe help Negan break out or some situation. Maybe Maggie is going to go to Alexandria and try to kill Negan and you know, it's not going to go well. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm just trying to put some predictions out there of what I feel like the direction of this season is going to go. I mean, we still got 14 more episodes to go. So, um, in accordance to the relationships 
that have been established during these two episodes with Carol, Ezekiel, and of course, Jadis with Gabriel. I'm not against them. Carol and Ezekiel's relationship has been building over time, so that's a more long-term thing. You could probably say that the Gabriel Jadis relationship is more forced, but I don't I don't really feel that way because the chemistry is there. They're doing an incredible job. The two actors are doing an incredible job of portraying this relationship moving forward. So I don't feel it doesn't feel forced. And as I've explained, I think during the first episode when I was talking about it, I don't like forced relationships, but if it's done correctly, if it's done, you know, with two great actors who know how to create chemistry on screen, they can pull it off. You get what I'm saying? I'm all for relationships. I love seeing people get together in TV shows, animes. I like it. I, I, you know what I'm saying? It's heartwarming. It's, you know, it's what life should be. It's a part of life. Relationships are a part of life, no matter you know, what, what your orientation is, whatever the situation is. So it's whatever you choose to do. That's what you choose to do. I'm not here to condemn anyone or whatever it is. That's your life. You do whatever you want to do. You can choose who you want to love. I'm not going to tell you who to love. Okay. That's who you say you want to love. That's between you and whichever God you serve. You know, you get what I'm saying at the end of the day. So for me, when I see relationships, whether they be gay or, or straight or whatever, they want to love a cat, marry a cat, whatever people are doing these days. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm good with it. As long as it's not, you know, as long as it's not in a way where it's like seem like it's pushing an agenda, I'm good with it. Like there's certain movies and TV shows that I've watched and the relationship, whether it be gay or straight. It just feels so forced. You get what I'm saying? It just feels so forced, and that's what I don't like. I don't like when it's forced because there's no chemistry. Am I supposed to believe that you're... I'm, I can't believe that you're gay if you're not doing it right. I'm not going to believe it because you're just playing a character. But sometimes you got to feel like you're living that. You get what I'm saying? Like you're living that. You know what I'm saying? Even though you might be straight in real life... It's hard to pull off. You get what I'm saying? Unless you're bi, you get what I'm saying? It's hard to pull off. And when you do it right, it feels right. You know what I'm saying? So it's fine. You get what I mean? So when it comes on to relationships, I'm not against the Jadis Gabriel, even though some people might say it feels forced. I think the, 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 act, the actors did a very good job, right, of portraying chemistry on stream it's believable is what i'm trying to say it's believable so i'm with it you know what i mean so um so we got a lot of interracial relationships and uh i'm, I'm good with that i'm good with that if that's where they want to go with it because maybe the person who wrote who, who is writing the story um who's maybe writing for the show the writer's table maybe that's how the direction they want to go and you know what I'm saying? Most of the relationships, you know what I'm saying? They're long standing. They're not forced. Um, at one point, I thought Daryl was going to get with Carol. But I think, I think, I don't remember what season it was that kind of let me go in a different direction when it comes to them, with, that it's more of like a mother son relationship more than anything else. It's not a love relation, it's not a romantic situation. It's more of like a mother son, like Carol loves Daryl like a son. You know what I'm saying? At first, it felt like it was going to go in the direction of romance but or intimacy, but it never went there. You know what I'm saying? And I think it was was when um, when Daryl went to see her in the cabin and she asked him, you know, about is everybody's OK? And he never told her what happened to Abraham and Glenn and you know what's been happening you get what I'm saying like he never told her I think that's when I was like this relationship is not going to, it's not going to get intimate it's not going to get rom romantic it's 
it's going, it's the direction was mother son. You get what I'm saying? So I'm good with that. I'm good with that. You know what I'm saying? Um, okay. So what else? Enid is practicing to become, uh, um, learning how to, to be a doctor. I'm good with that. You know what I'm saying? Some of these characters, Maggie is more of like, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what to think about her right now because her decisions, she's doing the best she can. Don't get me wrong. And I'm, she's still one of my favorite characters in the show. It's just that I feel like her actions are going to spark this civil war that I'm talking about. And I think it's going to start at the hilltop. And I don't know if they're ever going to establish some common laws among them. Maybe they will, maybe they won't, but we'll see what happened. Now I'm going to talk about the situation with Gregory. Gregory's death at the end of episode one was not some, I didn't, I was, I was in agreement for him to be killed, but I was not in agreement with how he was killed. Hanging is suffering before death. I'm never going to be in agreement with that. Capital punishment, if if I'm supposed to be okay with it, it has to be swift. It has to be swift. You get what I'm saying? It has to be swift if you're going to put out that kind of punishment. I'm against all types of capital punishment, even though so many people believe that it's just. I don't believe it is just. Nobody in the power should have the power to take lives, no matter what it is. No matter what it is, people will say, oh, but incarceration and all this tax that I'm paying for them to eat and, and all of this other stuff and support the prisons and all this other stuff, prisons are overcrowded and all of this other stuff. Listen, you're always against that stuff un until you get and uh, until maybe something happens and you're probably wrongfully convicted of some shit you never did. OK, let me tell you all something, man. I've seen so many people backpedal on capital punishment. Oh, when it's coming to somebody in your family, you're, you're, oh, now you're against it. Oh, you were all for it <laughs> when, when somebody did something to, to, you know, somebody in your family, you know what I mean? Oh, oh, kill him, kill him. And then, oh, we just going, we just going to switch up now. That's what we doing. We, we just going to switch up. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I've seen it so many times and that's why. I've always been against it. I've written um, papers on it. You know what I'm saying? When I was when I was um, when I was in high school, it's been a long time since I've been against capital punishment. I'm never with it because I just don't believe that anybody should have the power to take a life. Nobody at all. That's just my belief. It might not be yours. We might disagree on this, but that's just me. I would argue with you all day about why I don't believe in capital punishment. But at the end of the day, I can change those laws. You get what I'm saying? So it is what it is. You know what I mean? But I'm never going to be like, oh, kill that man. Nah, let him rot in prison, man. Let him rot in prison. You know what I mean? Um, and I know, I mean, it's not like they're, they're executing people, you know, they're not executing people like every day there's somebody being executed. People on death row, they don't get killed. People don't get, you know what I'm saying? They don't get killed every day. These, these um, lethal injections are not done every day. You get what I'm saying? So it's not like it, these people are still in prison eating, you know what I mean? They're doing what they're, they're, they're locked up. I think that's enough, but some people just don't believe that that's enough. You know, they don't think the punishment fit the crime. They don't feel like a person not being able to see daylight probably ever again, locked up 23 hours a day. Maybe they'll get a one hour to go out there. People don't believe that that's enough. People believe that a life for a life. You get what I'm saying? Um, if you took a life, you deserve to lose yours. You know what I'm saying? Um, me personally, I don't believe in that because I believe that some people are redeemable. Um, you know what I'm saying? I, I believe all people have a chance to be redeemable. Some people just choose not to be, but you still got to give them that chance. You get what I'm saying? I believe in that. Some people don't deserve it. Some people do, but still, who are we to really make that decision anyways? But that's just me. 
on that. You may disagree. I know you guys are gonna gonna go off in the comment section because we've had this discussion before, but it's okay. You already know my stance. It hasn't changed, and whatever it is, it is. We we might agree to disagree. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's how that's how it is. Anyways, thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. Leave a like. Leave a comment. And I will catch you guys next time for some more The Walking Dead. Peace.